Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how to wire up this little TFT module to the ESP32. So to start with I'll, um, I'll tip it upside down like that and let's zoom in so you can see what I'm doing here. So you can see there's a legend here or a few labels. Right okay so let's start with number 8. So number 8 is ground. So ground to let's say there just like that and then the next one is backlight so backlight to there let's say that can be the 5 volt area then VCC to also 5 volts then clock clock on the ESP32 is D18 so that's over here then the next pin is data in, which is um, Mosey, yeah, master out slave in. So on the SP that is D23, which is that one. Then the next pin is DC. I don't actually know what DC stands for. But regardless, um, DC goes to the ESP pin D2, and then there's the chip select pin, and chip select goes to D15. By the way, um, the the SPI pins are um, mandatory, but the other pins sometimes you can change them. So I'm just uh, doing my own thing here. I know these ones work, so I'm just sticking to it. But anyway, um, so CS, chip select, that's going to D15. And then finally, the RST pin. And I'm going to put the RST pin to D4. Where's D? Oh, there's D4, there. So that's wired up. And now, um, now it's wired, I'm just going to flip this over and push them in. Make sure you align this correctly. There we go, that's good. I'll just show you there. And now I have to just wire these up. So I'll have a 5 volt there. I'm going to connect this to a 5 volt power source and ground. I'll put in here. And of course, I'll connect that to a power source too. Right, what else are we missing now? Well, I'll connect that to the ESP. So, there's V in there, and where's ground? Ah, oh, there's ground there. So, V in and ground, they're connected up. So, I'm wiring the uh, ESP32 as well. And now I'll set my PSU to 5 volts. Right, so the next thing I'll need to do is I'll just plug the USB uh, plug in and I'll also power the device. Might as well add ground in as well. I don't know what everybody else's USB 32 is like, but mine's not very good on power. It's very, very fussy. So mine likes the USB plus more power. And uh, it's it's like that without the screen. So I take it the ESP is just fussy, that's all. Or maybe it takes a lot of power or whatever. I don't know. But if I don't do that, it continually brown out, browns out and it reboots. Yeah, it goes into a boot loop sort of issue. So it needs plenty of power. So that's why I power it twice. Anyway, let's go over to the uh, to the uh, to the uh, computer now and um, write a sketch. Okay, so what we need to do uh, before we can actually use this uh, TFT, we need to install a library, and this library can be found here: https colon slash slash github dot com forward slash podma forward slash tft underscore espi, and um, there's a little description there of what to do um, and about the the library. But if you just go to clone and download 
or clone or download and download the zip um, that's what we're going to need so when you go to download the zip um, of course Windows will come up with it when it's finished just over here and if you open it up let's just wait for it to open it should open up where is it oh it's gone to my other screen okay um, if you just copy that zip location so control and C to copy the location then open up Arduino and then go to sketch and then include library and then add zip library then paste the link in there and go to open it will work so when you've done that okay a, li a library already exists so that's because uh, it does exist but it won't say that on yours so after you do that after you've done that go to file and then examples and then go right down to tft underscore spi and then go to 160 by 128 and then go to um, let's say graphic test small so let's enlarge that right now there's something we need to do um, before we can actually use this thing and uh, it's quite peculiar but, um, but I'll show you anyway so in your documents, so in my case it's c colon users, sorry c colon slash users slash Anton slash documents slash Arduino slash libraries slash TFT um, underscore ESP hyphen master. In there there's a file and the file is called user setup dot h. Now you need to open that file up in order to configure it. So I've got mine, op mine opened up here and basically for the ESP32 to work with it you have to change a few things so I've changed this to the ST7735 driver I've specified the TFT width and height I've specified this which is the uh, model if you like of display driver then down here you have to specify the pins so it's a section for ESP32 there and pretty much just go with whatever it says I didn't understand what this line was here so I just didn't use it but all of this seems to work perfect for me so go down here I don't know what that is so I didn't bother with it over here I chose this uh, this font here because it only requires a few bytes and uh, seems to work fine for me and then go down here I didn't change that I left it at default and I haven't bothered with that so when you've made those changes just save the document and uh, close it of course and then pretty much just upload this so control and U and it should start uploading and when it's uploaded I'll, um, change, I'll change back over to the camera so you can see what's happening okay and the screen should do this basically draws all this and then it just repeats this uh, cycle over and over and over and there we go so that's how to get this little TFT module to work with the ESP32 thanks for watching bye